Oh, Hey Fight Fans, welcome to our YouTube channel, hope you are doing well. In today's video, the fighter that we will be talking about is none other than the physical specimen, the soldier of God, Yoel Romero. Romero has been one of the most watched and favorite fighters in the world of MMA. He is known for his ferocious power and strength inside the octagon, leaving several fighters in their wake. Romero, for his age, is incredibly athletic and that is a testament to his fitness. Today we will see what is the secret behind UL's incredible fitness and structure and what kind of lifestyle does the Cuban have that makes him such a force even at the age of 42. Number 6. Career Highlights Romero made his MMA debut in 2009 by competing in various fight promotions in Europe, notably in Germany. He competed in Europe for two years before being recognized by the Strike Force promotion. He signed for Strike Force in 2011 and made his debut against Rafael Cavalcante. He lost that match and to make matters worse, injured his neck which ruled him out for two years. Usually an injury of that kind keeps potential fight promotions tentative about signing fighters who have suffered serious injuries which have kept them out on the sidelines for too long. But given Romero's status of being a naturally gifted human specimen, the UFC came calling in 2013. They signed him up in 2013 and he made his debut against Clifford Starks in the UFC Fight Night event. Romero displayed his pure athleticism in that fight by knocking out Starks cold by delivering a jumping knee to the face, thus earning a first round KO and finishing his opponent. Fans would be in awe of Romero's tremendous physical ability and feats of strength inside the octagon. He went on to obliterate his opponents such as the likes of Derek Brunson, Luke Rockhold, Leota Machida and others. He became one of the most feared middleweights on the planet and would later contest for the middleweight title against Robert Whittaker. The pair would meet each other twice, with Whittaker emerging victorious on both the occasions via decision. In those fights, Romero also showed off his durability, as he bravely fought off the attacking onslaught from Whittaker. His durability was also evident in his fight against Paolo Costa, as he surprisingly absorbed a kick to the head clean without it having any impact on him. His last fight in the UFC turned out to be against the champ Israel Adesanya for the title as he went on to lose via the judges scorecard with a decision. The Cuban is one of the most liked and followed fighters in the MMA community. Some fighters dread stepping inside the octagon against the Cuban and with endorsement from fellow middleweight Darren Till admitting that he isn't afraid to step inside the octagon against any fighter apart from Yoel Romero. A lot of people sort of talking about Yoel Romero possibly getting this that guy. Well, I don't want to ever fight him. He's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of no man on this planet apart from Yoel Romero. But he's gone to Bellator, the little bag. Yoel his pants. Such was the aura and the physicality of the Cuban, which made him one of the strongest MMA fighters ever seen inside the octagon. He currently competes at Bellator at the age of 42, and owing to his superior genetics and body frame, it won't be a surprise to see him go on for a bit longer. Number 5. Salary Romero, during his time at the UFC, made a good amount of money as he fought in several high-profile fights, including three fights for the title. His career earnings in the UFC stand at $2.1 million, and as Romero is still fighting in Bellator, he is about to add more to his earnings column as he comes to the latter stage of his career. His highest payout in his career was $430,000 for his UFC 213 title fight for the middleweight title against Robert Whitaker. He earned $150,000 for his debut in Bellator, which is a drop from his fight purse in the UFC. Romero, being one of the entertaining fighters in the UFC, has also been the recipient of several fight of the night and performance bonuses, which add up to his earnings as well. Number 4. Sponsorship It's not only the UFC, but many other companies recognize the worth of Yoel Romero as a fighter and as an athlete. He was sponsored by Reebok as part of the fighter sponsorship deal with the UFC. He is currently sponsored by RevGear, which is an MMA and boxing training gear company. El Toro Loco Choracaria is a Brazilian food joint that sponsors Romero, which promotes healthy eating and lifestyle. Well, 
that is quite fitting as Romero is one of the most dedicated and fittest athletes on the planet who places a lot of emphasis on eating healthy, so this sponsorship makes a lot of sense. Number three, fitness freak and a physical force at 42. In all honesty, there won't be many MMA fighters who are as jacked and ripped as Yoel Romero is at his age. The man possesses the famed Cuban genetics, known for extreme muscular strength. Romero's explosive energy inside the octagon, where he overwhelms his opposition with his sudden burst of energy and power, is largely due to his fast-twitched muscles. The thing about fast twitch muscles is that they are developed over time by way of long distance running and powerlifting. You would assume Romero goes through a rigorous training schedule, but his trainer sets his workout schedule based on the energy consumed and the completion of his pre-workout routine. In other words, the goals and routine is set by his trainer based on the energy expanded on his pre-workout schedule. Romero displayed his pure athleticism in an open workout prior to his UFC 213 title bout against Robert Whittaker. The level of athleticism displayed at that open workout summed up his exemplary physique and dedication to maintain such high fitness standards at his age. In fact, he looked like someone in their 20s due to the flexibility and speed in which he was performing the drills in that open exhibition. His flexibility is not limited to the circle, as he is seen performing backflips and full splits at face-offs without breaking a sweat. Backflips and splits at the age of 42. Yeah, not bad. Some of Romero's workout routine is available on the internet, allegedly, in which the Cuban places special emphasis on plyometric and gymnastic movements. Plyometric is an explosive form of exercising which includes exercises such as Olympic lifts, which generate explosive power and hips. No wonder as Romero is known for his sudden bursts of onslaught on his opponents, where he overwhelms them with his brute strength and power inside the octagon. Number two, freestyle wrestling. Background. Prior to MMA, Romero made a name for himself in the wrestling circuit by representing Cuba in the international stage in 1999. He even won silver medals in the 2004-2005 Olympics as he became a prominent name in freestyle wrestling. His success in freestyle wrestling made him a regular in the Cuban national wrestling team. Apart from his silver medal in the 0405 Olympics, he won several wrestling competitions in Europe. He enjoyed great success and a stellar reputation as a freestyle wrestler in Germany and Russia by taking part in their freestyle competitions. Romero on the JRE podcast detailed his early days as a hopeful trying to get on the freestyle wrestling team. He said that the ultra competitive nature of the training routine where the best wrestlers were ranked in terms of their wrestling credentials were giving preferential treatment if they were the top performers of the day made him raise his game to a different level. Romero says that the number one wrestler was given good food as compared to the number two or three wrestler. So the Cuban training model was based on this highly competitive atmosphere which was built in by the coaches. Romero also said that the other wrestlers vying for the spot on the wrestling team were waiting for a sign of weakness and complacency from their counterparts so they could pounce on it and make their case for the national team. In other words, if someone on the sidelines has got a hint of someone from the team being injured or not at their best, they will look to exploit or aim at that weakness so they could establish themselves ahead in the pecking order. Thus, such cutthroat nature of competition made Romero the beast that he is today in wrestling and combat sports. Now, time for a fun fact. Fun fact. Yoel Romero was once embroiled in a controversy where he failed a doping test in 2016. Romero, known to be a clean athlete, was dumbfounded by the results, which later revealed he had tested positive for a banned substance. He sued the nutrition company Gold Performance Standards on grounds of providing him with a tainted supplement without his knowledge. Romero won the lawsuit with a settlement of up to $27 million for damages that came with the failed test. And what basically happened was, you know, he took a certain supplement after the fight that was contaminated. It had an illegal substance in it. He provided them the supplements that he took. And there was one specific supplement he took after the fight. And he said, this is the supplement that I took. When you read the label, there's nothing in there. It's a natural supplement. It's supposed to be as clean as possible. It's something that anybody could have taken. And if everything that on the label would have been in there, we never would even be here. It ended up being that this particular supplement was contaminated with the product that he failed for. Now, back to the video. Number one, 
follows a rigorous diet plan. Yoel Romero wouldn't have acquired the physique that he is known for if not for his military-like discipline and eating healthy food. It is rumored that Yoel's daily diet includes rice and ripe bananas for lunch. He also drinks a lot of coconut water to keep the energy flowing. In the JRE podcast, he declared that he drinks water mixed with sugar. Don't know how that tastes like. But Romero switches up his diet now and then by adding some healthy protein-rich foods such as broccoli and grilled chicken, which keep him fit to this day. And finally, after looking at Romero's lifestyle and career earnings, his net worth stands at a good $10 million, with the Cuban getting better with age just like a fine wine. And we may still see the best inside the MMA ring from the Soldier of God. Well, all right, we have come to the end of this video. But before leaving, we would like to know, have you ever seen an athlete as fit and physically unique as Romero at the age of 42? And along with his training and diet plan, what do you think is the secret to his physique and raw power inside the octagon? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.